Let's head to Renton, Washington, where Steve Weish is with the defending NFC champs. So, Steve, I hear Jimmy was putting on a little bit of a clinic today, and that led to a ton of questions about Russell Wilson's contract situation. I'm assuming a lot of people just want to see these two together for a long time. Well, that looks like it could be the case, and the start is it's going to be a very happy union. Now, Russell Wilson, he said it is a private matter in regards to his contract talks with the Seahawks, but he does hope to get something done soon. Now, in terms of Jimmy Graham, he absolutely put on a show in his first public appearance in front of the media at the OTA, but what we saw from him isn't nearly what he's seen from the Seahawks. This place has exceeded my expectations, um, you know, uh, by far. Uh, number one, I mean, look at these facilities. They're, they're. Uh, I think they're some of the nicest in football. And, and but beyond that, kind of, kind of, um, you know, how how the teams ran. You know, it's the players. The players run the team, and and they hold each other accountable. And um, everyone competes at everything. Um, and it doesn't matter where we are, if it's out from the field or if, or if, or if we're out there in Maui. Uh, uh, we're all going to compete to uh, to try to win. What was noticeable on the first day of red zone installation was Jimmy Graham's physical size when he get, catches balls in the end zone. But he also allows Seattle to have bigger personnel packages among its receivers. In fact, Coach Pete Carroll told me we can get big pretty quickly with our receivers. On an injury note, safety Earl Thomas made his first appearance at an OTA after offseason shoulder surgery. Carroll told me that Thomas will be ready to go come training camp. Amber? All right, one-fourth of the Legion of Boom back on the field. Thanks, Steve Weish.